everybody. This is Lauren and Ron. I'm your damn reporter. That stands for Director of Alternative Marketing because he never remembers. We are going to bring you Planet Ron. So Ron, tell me, what did you do this week? Well, it hasn't been an extremely exciting week. I've been in town all week. I haven't left town, did you which take, is exciting to me. Did you take Bev on a hot date? Uh, I take Bev on hot dates about every <laughs> other night. She um, is uh, 66 years old now. We've been back next month. We'll be married for 46 years. Wow. I'm going on a cruise next month, and um, our anniversary is September the 18th, and that's we'll be on a cruise to New England and Nova Scotia during that time. So that's a date, right? That's a you know, that's an extraordinary I'm, date. Not even sure I know what a date is. <laughs> uh, I take her out to dinner about every other night. In fact, more than that, because she won't cook much anymore. <laughs> She's got this idea that when you get as old as she is, you don't have to cook anymore. <laughs> I'm constantly rebutting that argument, but I'm not getting anywhere. In fact, it seems like the more I talk, the more we have to go out and eat. <laughs> So actually, I'm working on getting my own restaurant up here in Jacksonville. So at least I have a decent place perfect. to eat. Perfect. Yeah, That's perfect. Yeah. Which is where I found you. You might add. Yes. I have a restaurant in Myrtle Beach. It's a great discovery. So you know, if I'm gonna, if I'm, if I'm resigned to the fact that I gotta go out and eat a lot, I might as well have my own restaurant. I think I, so too. At least I, there won't be anything on the menu that I don't like. I tell you that. I'm working hard on that. So yeah, I take her out on dates all the time. At least what I call a date. I'm not what? sure it matches your definition of a date. <laughs> What was your, um, what was There's your... no smooching on this date, if that's what's your... Uh, <laughs> that doesn't mean that it's a date. Uh, uh, that doesn't right. mean... You can have a date without smooching. That's right. right. All right. What okay. was, um, didn't you meet Bev, your first date was where? Wait, it was a, uh, a drive-in, right? No. Oh, no. just kidding. I actually met her because she was, I was in, still in my last year of high school. Okay. And a friend of mine... As car broke down, and he had a girlfriend, and Beverly was with that them at that her, his girlfriend at that time. So he brought both of them to the school, and I came out of school one day, and they were sitting in my car waiting for me to come out because I had the wheels. Oh, <laughs> all right, that's where I met her. And then you my, fell in love. No, it took a while. <laughs> <laughs> my, are, are we supposed to be talking? Okay, about this? okay. So playing it wrong. So what did you really do this week? Um, gosh, I don't know. I, let's see, I did a lot of work on our value hound thing this week where we're just doing a membership card here in yep. Jacksonville to get discounts on retail, service, and restaurants. We're going to launch that November the 1st. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of work on global, so we got a whole new um, system we're setting up for global, a whole new uh, customer acquisition method and a whole series of things that uh, yes. do after that. Uh, I got other 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 um, entities out there. I did quite a bit of work this week on my oil reserve in West Virginia. Um, I've worked on a couple other projects. I'm about to leave tomorrow to go mm -hmm. to Memphis with, to meet Josh Caldwell, a student, uh, and look at an apartment project that he put under contract with my guidance and see if we want to go any further with that. Um, so I'm doing a little bit of everything this week. I just threw uh, this morning, spent half a day with one of my Platinum Inner Circle members on the half day consulting that comes with that PIC membership as we call it and helped her create a whole new business model from scratch that I hope will lead to a multi-million dollar enterprise for her and uh, that's so it's been kind of a normal yeah normal not, not, well it's normal for me um, yeah normal week okay no, no big deal no major happenings and so what do you have coming up do you have anything that you want well to like I said I'm gonna go visit Josh okay. I gotta go speak at our local RIA tonight I'm going to go okay. talk to them about the new AXE program. That's the assignment of contracts and terms that you guys need to check out. Uh, go to ronlegrand.com forward slash ACTS. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new program you're going to want to hear about. Uh, I'm going to go talk to the group about that tonight. And um, then we got, uh, well, my birthday Saturday. And how old will you be? I'm going to be 65 years old on Saturday. Yeah. 65 <laughs> years old on Saturday. Uh, and then... Um, Tish, Tish's birthday is today. Yes. She's got the day off. She didn't know it, but her mother flew up from the Caribbean. I heard. That's awesome. And I set up breakfast, told her to meet me at breakfast, and I wasn't there. Her mother showed up and surprised her. I guess. Nice. I haven't heard from her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, my birthday Saturday, and then Nikki's birthday here in the mm -hmm. office on Sunday, so we got kind of a weekend of uh, birthdays, or Monday, Tuesday, the 6th, whatever that is. And we got Labor Day coming up. Yep. So, what are you going to do on Labor Day? Um, I think I'm going to go to the beach. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. 
You're not sure? So I'm not sure. So where's where's his boyfriend at? What good my, is he if he ain't, he ain't around on Labor Day? My boyfriend's in Denver, oh. and he always brings up my boyfriend. Ah, uh, okay. So he's not going to come pick you up and woo you on Labor Day? He's not going to take me on a cruise, no. Uh, but well, what good is he then? <laughs> By the way, I have not seen his financial statement yet. I know. Okay, he wants right. the background check, the whole nine yards. Darn we'll right. There. Yeah, especially the criminal and the child molester. <laughs> I want to see those. <laughs> He's okay. totally kidding. This re no, I'm not. This, this relationship cannot go any further <laughs> until I do my investigation of this boyfriend of yours. All right. And All we right. have to have a preface talk. I told Ron when he comes to visit the office, like, he cannot embarrass me. We have to keep it calm, keep my embarrassing moments on the DL. You know how to act. You mm -hmm. know. Okay. That is what you told me. All yes. Right. So we'll yeah, see how that goes. That is what she told me. All right. Well, we <laughs> will bring you guys uh, Planet Ron next week in his normal week. We'll see All you right. then. See ya. Bye.